While Republican Senate candidate Sue Loudon now says she misspoke when she told Colowate News Now her campaign bus had actually been donated. Now, the Democratic Party and one of her Republican rivals are saying that bus, provided by former Sparks Casino owner Carl Judici, violates federal campaign laws. And today, the fallout from this continued. Colowate News Now's Ed Pierce is here with the latest. And, Ed, this all started with an interview with you earlier mm -hmm. this week. Yeah, and she was eager to talk about this bus, I might add. Uh, now, however, it has become a problem. Certainly an unwelcome issue this late in the campaign. Whether or not she meant to say it was a donation, a legal contribution, or something else again may not matter in the final analysis. The comment came during a long interview we did with Loudon May the 7th. She was responding to a question about her obvious edge in campaign resources, including paid campaign workers and that great-looking bus. Loudon framed her answer with evident pride as an indication of the kind of support she was receiving. Uh, let me just talk about my RV. This was donated. Okay. You know, I'm really fortunate, and anybody could have had a donated RV if they have uh, uh, supporters who want to donate. The precise term is in-kind contribution, and it's listed as such on contribution forms filed with the Federal Elections Commission. In-kind contributions are subject to the same $2,400 per individual limit. Between Carl Judici and his wife, the total claim is just under the wire. Rival Republican candidate Danny Tarkanian says, however, the value of the bus exceeded that limit. And the state Democratic Party put it in writing in a complaint filed with the FEC yesterday putting the value of the lease on the vehicle for the 10 months of the campaign at more than $140,000, a serious violation of the law, they said, the same as if a suitcase of cash had been handed to her. Loudon's campaign has struggled to respond, but their bottom line is this. Regardless of what the candidate said or how she phrased it, although her name appears on the title, she's only leasing the vehicle. The final word, however, came today from the Department of Motor Vehicles. The state doesn't recognize private lease agreements, someone's name is on the title, they're an owner. So you see the problem. If Loudon or her campaign is a legal owner of that vehicle, how did that ownership come about except through donation or contribution? And it's hard to fit the contribution of a $100,000 RV into that $2,400 limit. The complaint has been filed. No word on whether or when the FEC might rule or if that might come before the voters have reached their own verdict. And, of course, early voting starts this Saturday. All right, Ed, thanks so much. One to watch. If you're interested in reading that complaint in full to the FEC, we do have it on our web channel, colotv.com. You'll find it under Hot Topics.